I'm serious. Call the principal and tell him I'm too good for senior lounge duty. Come on, he'll listen to you. Great, give me the dirty work. <laughs> I was so glad when I saw you here tonight. It's the first time I've seen you outside those four walls. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you a secret. I couldn't tell you until you had that diploma in your hand. I'd like to see you sometime. Really? I was always smiling at you. What'd you think that meant? I just thought you were a nice, happy guy. I know what you're saying, Mr. Deegan. You're saying that you enjoyed our friendship, so did I. But you're not gonna feel comfortable if you kiss me right now. So for your sake, thanks. I understand. You're amazing. Have a great life. You too, Mr. Deegan. You know, in your speech you mentioned dreams. Let me tell you mine. I wish you were older. I really like this guy a lot, you know? Yeah. But he never called me. But a friend of his called me and asked me out. But if I don't call him, then he's gonna think I'm not interested or something. But if I go out with his friend... Uh, don't go out with either of them. They're both, I'm telling you, they're assholes. But I really like him. But then again, I like his friend, too. Don't go out with either of them. My advice. My blood cutting me apart. With his bow tie mind. Yeah. Mr. Court, can you tell us a little bit about the state of nursing homes in the Puget Sound and why you've petitioned to expand your facilities? Well, first of all, it's not facilities, it's a nursing home. There's a big difference, especially these days when you have corporations who own hundreds of nursing homes, thousands of beds. They take care of their residents in bulk. And that means, of course, that the poorer residents suffer. For example? Well, for example, let me tell you about Minnie Matheson. Minnie's 86 years old. Uh, well, she will be in September. She was a private pay resident until her money ran out. So one fine day, Minnie found herself transferred out of her nice, clean, private room shortly after she had signed on for a government agency, Medicare or Medicaid, and taken to a local hospital for a checkup. She was fine. There was no problem. There was nothing wrong with her. When they brought her back, it was to a smaller room with two other people. Nobody answered her bell. Nobody even cared. And that's what happens when big business takes care of old people. It's a nightmare. It's discrimination. It's a scam. And I shouldn't even be talking about it. Because you'll be surprised, ever since I opened my mouth on this subject, how many government agencies have been knocking on my door. But the point is, I desperately need to expand. I have a long waiting list and no place to put any more beds, and I guarantee you, these people will be a lot better off in my home than in the facilities of some businessman in a suit who lives a thousand miles away and to whom the many Mathesons of this world represent nothing more than a tax deduction. So you feel that your service is more personal? Ladies and gentlemen, I pureed beets this morning. Doesn't this man look good? We all know who he is. He's a senior citizen.
This man isn't well known. He's the same age. Came to my home a month ago. He lived alone, had nobody to take care of him. Unlike so many old people, he fell, broke his hip. It took Christopher a day to crawl to the telephone. A day. Now, who's taking care of the elderly? Who's not just in it for a buck? It used to be that people just died. Today, they can live to be 100. It's a miracle. It's also a problem. Who's taking care of our old people? These people are our parents. These people are us, the day after tomorrow. That's a very moving speech. We'll consider your application. Thank you. Thank you. Diane. Hi. Oh. oh, look at you. Uh, I brought you something. I made you a, a tape for England, a cool English road tape. Cool English road tape. Yeah. <laughs> so is everybody here? Yeah, yeah. I have to go change. Okay. Help me pick something. All right. How formal is this? Not too. No, see, that's not, we're not getting it in. Hi. This is gonna be it right here. This is the one. Yeah. All right. This is happening here. I'll right, get that out of there. Want to stop for a while? Have a sip of coffee. Go ahead, lean on me as much as you need to, okay? It's good to be back on your feet, isn't it? Oh, man. Get out of that room, you know, walk around. It's nice out, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice out. Moving at a good speed. No more for me. I've got to drive home. <laughs> Whatever you want. <clears throat> the Cynthia Bramson estate was worth how much? Because her family what has family. We never heard from him. I sold her house for her and made her money. Mm -hmm. Your income, Mr. Port, hasn't changed substantially in 17 years. That's right. Well, why would you spend so much time with an operation that is so clearly not a growth enterprise? What do you think it means by growth enterprise? Pardon me, sir? Taking care of people isn't a growth enterprise, Mr. Sims. I hope you write that down. I'd like your bosses to read it. They will. In 
1982. That was the year you took several vacations with your daughter, isn't that right? That's right. Is that the boy who showed us the movies? Dress. Please, please, please. Dad, please, please, please. Hold on a minute, address is caught. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. There we go. Please, please. Please, please. Pretty dress for the two. Those trips were fairly expensive. Excuse me, sir. This lady is 93 years old. Her name is Bess, and you just treated her like she was invisible. She may have wanted to read that magazine. Did that occur to you? Were you going to read this? Yes. Uh. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. I'll show you the door. Please, please, please. please, please. <laughs> Is Lloyd here? Diane? I'm Constance. Come on in. He's practicing. I'll write down the address where he is. Thanks. This is Jason. Hi. Bing, 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 bing. Here you go. Thanks. He took care of us. He drove me to the bank. Yes, but he took your money. Now, we were able to recover part of it. But he drove me to the bank. 